go. So you've heard about Seek a little bit through the day, maybe even a little bit yesterday, uh, in case you just want to start off on the same page. Uh, Seek is a browser application that subject matter experts, teams, groups, management can use to work with their process data. Our customers are getting great value from Pi. We connect quickly to Pi, work with all aspects uh, of the Pi uh, network. So if you've invested in asset framework, awesome. If you have event frames, great. Let's bring them into Seek and really dive into the data. Seek can give engineers faster insight to data by simplifying the difficult pieces. Right now, people are struggling trying to get to the bottom of their analyses in spreadsheets. That's our, our goal, to make the engineer's life uh, simpler. We can also capture knowledge when we're working in Seek, so that when you hand off your project, you move on to the next role. Uh, it's well documented. Somebody can understand where you left off or how you came to your um, solution. And we also generate dynamic reports in Seek. A big part of engineering workflow is creating routine reports can take a lot of time. Uh, let's simplify that workflow too. Let the engineer spend more time doing engineering, less time just massaging data. So Seek's a way to work with advanced analytics, with big data. We have several machine learning algorithms baked in the package. It also has an open SDK to fit in with whatever other solutions you might be working with. Uh, and it can be installed on-premise or in the cloud, connect to your data on-premise or in the cloud. So no matter what kind of analytics your engineers want to do, from diagnostic troubleshooting to predictive maintenance, looking forward, when are we going to need to work on this, live monitoring, determining what should be happening based on history, or describing at the end of the month, the end of the quarter, what was going on, uh, Seek fits in to all of those pieces. And we also work with every piece of the pie. So if you have data in Pi, super, let's look at it in Seek. If you've invested in AF, that's amazing and you're going to have an excellent experience in Seek as well because we can do asset swapping on your calculations in Seek just as you're doing template swapping or applying templates in AF to other uh, parallel framework. Uh, if you have event frames, we can pull those in and display them as Seek conditions so that you get the benefit of focusing on those event frames. What was happening in this instance? Let me compare all my event frames back to back, overlay them, create a profile for them, model the data only applicable to those event frames. We can also write back to Pi through the uh, AF data reference. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, that can be written to a data reference. It can be written back to the Pi archive. We, write our, we can write our conditions back to be represented as event frames in Pi as well so that we can take advantage of Pi notifi no notifications uh, to alert anyone that a condition is present in Seek. And then when you're making that data available back in Pi, you can view it in Pi Vision as well. So one way Seek is often used in this industry is in data cleansing. Data is wrought with Difficulties, sometimes the noise is interesting, sometimes it's not. There can be dropouts that need to be filtered out. Whenever your plant is down for any reason, planned maintenance, the flow meters do some wonky things. If you take an annual average, that's not really representative. You want to filter that kind of data out when you're summarizing your KPIs. Maybe there's instrument calibration you want to account for, all kinds of details uh, in the data that you want to pull apart. So we have advanced algorithms in Seek to help you manage with those, manage those kinds of things. If you want to smooth your data, if you want to filter your data, if you want to eliminate any time my flow meter is negative because it should never be negative, check. Um, these kinds of things easily, easily done in Seek. Once you do it once, it's applied for all time. Just jump to the new time range uh, and you see your calculation there. And we can write this back to Pi as well. This will create more accurate KPI reports, simplify our reporting workflows, simplify our data management efforts uh, for the refiners in the room, any engineers who've cleansed data for Solomon on a regular basis. Let's cleanse it once and seek and consider it done. So here's writing seek signals back to the Pi system. Do your work in seek once you have a seek signal or a seek condition with the data reference plugin. You can just query that calculation uh, from AF and becomes available as a data, re data reference to trend in Pi Vision. 
So that might be a signal you've cleansed. That might be a new model you've created, given several inputs in Seek, uh, just to share that with anyone else across your organization through Pi. Other use cases for Seek are advanced asset monitoring. They're really complex calculations our subject matter experts are doing on a routine basis. We want those subject matter experts to be able to work with the data directly. So as they go through step by step of that complex calculation, they can see the results in Seek. It's a visual tool. Also, we pay attention to units of measure. So if you make, an, make a mistake, we're going to let you know. That looks a little funny. Your units aren't matching up. Kind of catching the details that right now spreadsheets let trickle through the, the holes. So here, uh, we're looking for periods where there could be accelerated corrosion due to salt deposition. So um, pulling together lab data, process data, doing some advanced calculations. If you've highlighted an asset hierarchy through asset framework, you can scale that out across that asset uh, hierarchy as well. This is a display of tree map in Seek. So if you've done a calculation in one space of your asset framework, you can view all parallel assets, looking for any particular deviations, drilling in by selecting on those red or yellow boxes where there's a period of interest you might be interested in. And we want to minimize downtime by looking at these advanced uh, calculations, make sure we know when there's risk for corrosion, mitigate those uh, times. So when might you find yourself enhancing your experience in Pi Vision or Pi AF by transitioning to Seek? Anytime you want to do ad hoc exploration of your data, Seek is a great fit for that. You can quickly investigate your data and then codify or institutionalize those calculations uh, as event frames or um, in asset framework when the subject matter expert has flushed out their idea in Seek. When you want to collaborate or capture your knowledge. Maybe it's in a journal alongside your data. As you're developing your analysis, you can document right there and seek what's been going on, live links to, to your findings. It's a great way to share that with a colleague, anyone in the organization. Also creating reports. Maybe you need a re routine report. You don't want to pull your data all the time. You want to just re replicate this on a routine basis. Seek is a great opportunity there. We talked a little bit about da data cleansing. We also have alternate, alternative trend displays that you may find useful in Seek. So when you have those event frames, if you bring them into Seek, you can look at just when that data is happening uh, in Seek with capsule time or chain view. Anytime you're thinking about exporting your Pi data to Excel, you could be thinking about working in Seek instead to have a more exciting experience. Uh, maybe that's with some regression, multivariate regression. Uh, maybe you want to do some advanced frequency uh, analysis. We have fast Fourier transforms in Seek now. Uh, so monitoring vibrations, that's an exciting use case right there. Uh, or maybe it's a handful of other advanced calculations you want to work with. Also, uh, with my background, exploring other data that may not be in Pi, anytime you want to incorporate a, a lab sample from an outside lab that isn't made its way into Pi or plan data. Let's take our planning data and combine it with our process data to really make an excellent prediction model going forward. We, we know this, this heat exchanger is fouling and then those planning people think we're going to ramp up. Let's see what that does to how that uh, prediction is going to go out into the future. So what are some common workflows we see? Utilize that asset framework once you've built it up to scale out your analyses in Seek. As you're still building asset framework, you can also start working with Seek and we'll sync with asset framework each time you have an update. You'll get the benefit in Seek. So don't think that you have to wait until AF is finalized to jump in with Seek. Uh, we can benefit all along the way together. Let's explore those complex analyses in Seek. And when your subject matter expert is content, you can institutionalize them with AF so they're locked down. Uh, you can write those cleansed signals back or those modeled signals, spread those across the organization so we can see what, what should the compressor be doing right now based on a, a rigorous model. 
we can utilize those pi AF, uh, pi event frames rather, for analysis and seek, and also those event frames for using pi notifications to let us know something exciting uh, might be going on. So there's my contact information. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them.